2 d rotation in homogeneous coordinates. So, the rotation equations are represented in matrix form in homogeneous coordinate like this. So, this is the point which has to be rotated, this is the respective transformation matrix for rotation in homogeneous coordinate and this is the respective resultant point coordinate. So, here this can be written as the rotation r of theta is this one. So, we have written this. So, this r of theta matrix multiplication with p will be getting this p dash as a resultant point. So, now here we want to show that we are having two angles are there one is alpha and another one is the theta. So, if we apply this rotation that means we are applying this alpha and theta these two times location. So, our uh, if we apply this alpha and theta these two uh, angles rotation then in that case our intuition says that the resultant matrix what will be obtained will be nothing but summation of this alpha plus theta rotation. So, let, let us go for that. So, here we have considered the alpha rotation and here we have considered the theta rotation. If you go for this matrix multiplication I have shown in detailed steps here. You can pause the video, you can do the calculation yourself and you can verify with our outputs and here this resultant matrix is showing that really this alpha plus theta there is a actual the angles are getting added up. So, the resultant rotation will be if you consider that is alpha plus theta there is a total rotation angle. So, accordingly this particular transformation matrix is supporting that very fact that this demonstration and uh, this demonstrates that two successive rotations are additive in nature. So, in this way we have discussed how to do the 2D rotations in homogeneous coordinates. Thanks for watching this video.